Hey Okie Tools here, and this is going to be my video restoring a vintage axe. So I uh, picked this up at a uh, garage sale a couple blocks away from my house. I uh, have been in the market looking for a uh, axe of this size. This is actually, I don't know how well you can see it there, but it's a True Temper Flint Edge, and it's two and a quarter pounds. And this is sort of a, you know, boys axe size or small camping axe size. And I've been looking for one of these, uh, you know, classic uh, vintage American made axe head like this uh, in this size to add to my collection, my axe collection. And I had actually been thinking, had seen some in some stores and seen some online and I just thought maybe I should wait and see if I can get one for a good price and you can't beat three bucks which is what I paid for this and uh, you know glad I waited. So uh, it uh, has this uh, cracked handle that I'm going to have to replace and that's really a shame because I really do like this handle. Uh, has this nice Fawn's foot right here and you know has nice curvature right here real pleasing to the hand and, you know it would have been nice just to be able to sand this down and put some linseed oil, linseed oil on it and put it back into service uh, as is uh, maybe reset it uh, here but uh, you know it has this big crack right here so that's really a shame but I already started trying to cut it off so I'm just going to cut it off here and pound it out because I'm having some issues getting the actual wedge that's in there out it doesn't have any metal wedges or anything just a standard lengthwise wood edge uh, uh, wedge I mean and I'll be able to take that out real easy gonna be using my grandpa's uh, old little wood saw here I like this thing it's kind of cool to use some vintage tools to restore a vintage axe so as you can see you got some rust here uh, but man look at that didn't look like anybody ever used that to pound on with or anything it's just nice and squared off and then you know look at this edge it's looking great got quite a bit of rust on this side but you can see some of that original uh, nice luster to it just amazed that nobody used this to like you know you always find them and they're all pounded you know somebody's pounded the crap out of them and man this looks like it's gonna it's gonna come back to life great um, you know, you put an edge on that, you use it anyways. But I want to try to get some of the rust off and put a new handle on it. So stay tuned. So there you go. We got the head all cleaned up. Uh, took a, uh, a wire brush to it and got some of that uh, rust off of there and got it all nice and cleaned up and shined up. Looks real nice. Got the first sharpening on there. I'll touch that up after I get done doing this, hanging the head. And uh, I have a separate video on these uh, household handles and my review of them and this is the uh, ontagonal cut one and uh, got it all nice and fitted out to it and we got the uh, boiled linseed oil on the wedge and getting ready to install it and there's the nice metal wedge that they send with it as well uh, these are uh, quality handles they really are finished product Looking pretty good Head cleaned up real nice. It is a little dirty because I have been using it, but cleaned up real nice. Look at that true temper flint edge stamp there and the two and a quarter pound stamp there. I mean, they cleaned up real nice. And just look at that pole, like I said in the first one. It hadn't beat, been beat on very much at all. A little nick right there on this end, on this side, but very clean, very nice. There's the other side for you. Cleaned up real nice. Put a real nice edge on it. I believe it's somewhere between uh, in 21 and 25 uh, degree bevel. Got the nicks out of it. It's a little nicked up. Real nice and clean edge now. Got the uh, handle from uh, Household Handles, the Ontagonal that I did a separate video on. Looks beautiful with that uh, boiled linseed oil finish on it. It was uh, naked wood when I got it. Let's take a look at the grain orientation. Somewhere between 45 and vertical. Very nice. That handle going all the way down. Very nice, very centered. 
this was the sheath I got for it. This is from uh, Beaver Tooth Handle Company. These were made in the USA, and this is number 74404. And uh, these are great. They have good stitching on them, good rivets. I wish they had a welt, but uh, that's fine. For the price, you can't beat them. They're like 15 bucks. And um, I have a few of these for other axes, and they make a real good product. And this just fit, it fits perfect uh, to this head uh, from True Temper uh, for this boy's axe that I did. So with the sheath and the new handle that I got, and basically buying the axe head from the uh, garage sale like I did, I think I'm like 33 bucks, maybe a little less. Uh, so with the history that you have from these. Uh, Flint Edge True Chemper heads and you know great boys axes and the handles that are available and the sheaths that are out there I mean you can't beat it even for $33 you can go spend that and buy something today that's uh, you know made in China or something like that and so you're not out anything to have an American made handle an American made sheath an American made head that's going to hold up and be good steel and really hold an edge nicely and uh, like I said I've been using it uh, just in a little bit of woodworking out there, you know, some limbing, some stuff like that, cutting down some saplings, and it's, it's just doing great. It's doing real good, and I couldn't be happier. So that was uh, one of my first, uh, you know, from beginning to end restorations where I had to, you know, refurb the head and put a new handle on and everything. So uh, that came out great, and I really do appreciate y'all uh, tuning in to see how it came out. Thank you.